Haven't seen this guy at first yet. This should be interesting. Flying over the dummies. Whoa. Hello, everybody. Great show, please. We're back with more Beam NG Drive. Back on Stairway Mountain. One of my favorite maps for basically anything off-road and rallying. And rallying is what we're going to be doing. Yes. Say hello to the Rally Masters of the Universe. All rally all the time. Actually, a lot of different models have been represented here today in the land of rallying. And they will all be attempting to get to the finish line. Which happens to be the patented white beam NG truck sitting against a support for the bridge all the way at the bottom of the map. It works good though. As much as this had been requested, I've stayed away from it for a long time because the AI... A uh, little bit difficult to get to act appropriately, but with all the new updates, so saith the developer, the AI has been improved heartily. We'll find out soon. Let's check out now, besides doing rallying, of course we're going to have to do some ridiculous stuff as well. And I have a couple of secrets hidden here and there on this fantastic course. You really have to watch it to understand. Let's freaking do this. The rally masters of the universe are off. How will they handle this? Already someone gets fishtailed out of the race. Several others flying speedily down the dirt roads. You can see right over here, pushing against one another, jockeying for position. The, what is this called? The Ibishu? <laughs> Never mind. I was gonna say the Ibishu doing quite well. Not so much anymore. Now it's tripping over its own bumper, overtaking completely. Old school style of car, but plenty of power and ability for sure. And let me tell you boys something. Those Duke boys are at it again! <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that. I wanted to put a car there so people could launch over it because that area right there is just fantastic for catching air. Look at the air, it's so beautiful. When these guys rally and they get air, I don't know if this guy, I don't know if the Abishu or whatever the hell it's called is gonna be able to recover from that. It's uh, doing a fantastic nosedive though, I will say. Where's everyone else at? I know there's several other individuals that have to get in on this. There we go. Come on, boys. No time to waste. Yeah, that's the air I'm looking for. You know those individuals that always get too damn close to the races, and then they end up getting struck, and it's their own fault? There they are. Everyone always wanted some pedestrians on the racetrack, so I figured why not. Now, I didn't put them, like, right in the middle. You know what I mean? Because that wouldn't make any sense. I wanted... I wanted them to just be close enough to the point where they were like, oh, maybe just a couple more feet closer to the action and we'll catch it. Not today! That's the only thing you're gonna catch. <laughs> he's got dragged and I think he's okay for the most part. His buddy over here is probably in shock. Don't know if he'll be just fine or not. Looking so far so good. Everyone passing by, the rally continues. Yes, we have one survivor. One sole survivor. I think the other gentleman got taken underneath a wheel well or something. I found him. I found the other man. <laughs> He's fine. They finally let him go. Everyone continues onward, getting air over those various bumps and dips. The issue with plenty of speed and agility seems to be in the front of the pack right now, being haunted incessantly. However, the quest, oh no, right over here. Look at this. Was that a burn sign? I think it is. All the way out in front. Now they're fighting, fighting for the first position. The finish line is just ahead. It just depends on who can get there first. Dipping and diving over these various bumps. Oh, going to get pushed over the side. There he goes. The question is, how well is he going to be able to recover from it? The answer is not well at all. Right over here, it looks like the Abishu Racing Team probably has this in the back. Oh, the ramp. He ramps it right over here. The big ramp job over and over and over again. The driver... <laughs> Probably not very happy right now. Not only with his performance, but also because he may be vomiting. And what the hell, an extra shot for good measure. Just because he had been overtaken. Oh, it allows him to recover. It totally allows him to recover. Look at this. He may still be in this yet, but probably not. Over here, what may be our glorious Victor. Still tripping on his own bumper for the most part, but he has not allowed that to hinder him in the slightest. Like, it really hasn't hindered him. I've, I'm actually very, very surprised at how well that he can do on this. And right over here, this bridge, the final finish line, and our victor, our very first victor, and we're off again. Our, ra our last first place individual has to be put at the back of the pack to give everyone a appropriate opportunity 
to see how they do in this race over here. Looking good so far. Number three. Start. Oh, he's starting to lose it on the rocks. And he loses it to the rocks. Several other vehicles. Again, look at it. Mishu's back. He always almost clips those rocks, but not today. This critter over here, the Okudai. I think that's the racing team name, not so much the actual uh, the actual vehicle name. I have a feeling the red car already got cremated. Oh, it's not that bad at all, to be quite honest. Look at that air in the background. Holy God. The air is real, boys. The air is real. Our dummies uh, still alive. Everything's just fine over here. The dummies looking on impressively at all the vehicles that pass by. Let's go watch them. Two vehicles pushing into one another. Whoa. Okay. That right there is about as close as you can come to getting hit by a car. <laughs> Let's check number three out. Number three, and the Abishu still working to see who can be in first place. These two are definitely the best at their job. Although you can see, number three often loses it in these turns over here. Not sure why, maybe just putting a little bit too on the metal. Over here though, starting to gain quickly, yet the, the acceleration is strong. Oh, that's bad. That is... That is all kinds of bad. Now these rocks are going to end up getting in the way. The rocks take a huge part of the car out. But the blue beast doesn't seem to care. Over here. The Abishu, uh, uh, once again in front. I may have to remove this car. I may have to get rid of him. He can't win every time. That's no fair. But he's certainly really, really good at what he does. I would have never thought. I would have never thought that this vehicle would be quite so strong at this type of rally style racing. Although... Hold on, what in the world happened over there? Hold on. Hold on, boys. Something is happening. Something horrible has occurred down here. This poor man sliding on his side, but for how long and will he be able to recover? The answer is negative. Never mind, maybe he's not out of the race. Although there's no way they can catch up, but this is going to be a hell of a shot. Here we go. <laughs> That's rallying for you, boys. That's rallying for you. And back over here across the bridge once again. Also happening to be number three. Brings home the bacon for the second time in a row. All right. We got rid of that scumbag that keeps coming into first place. Let's see how these five vehicles do without him around. Number three, probably the best contender for a successful. Oh, no. Hold on. We can't miss this. Number 54. Spilling down the side of the roadway. 29, H29, whatever it is, also skidding down. What in the world happened here? These two vehicles completely obliterated as they roll to what is probably their demise. Uh, it could potentially be, there could be a way to recover from this, but I'm not seeing it. Over here. Two dummies look on in fear and awe as the first of many vehicles comes flying over the bend. Straight into the side. I think they're going to be fine though. Look at that air. That is some fantastic air over here that the Hiroshi gets. Really enjoying it too. Both of them trying desperately not to go over the edge. And that is a drift. That is a fantastic save and a fantastic drift. Oh, look at this. All the dummies are going to end up meeting up. Oh, can you believe it? <laughs> the two vehicles. What kind of timing is this? How could this have possibly happened? And what sort of things are going to occur now that everyone's being together? There we go. The hits are real, boys. The hits are real. Back in the action. Number 71. Trying to recover from nearly spinning out. Number three right behind him. A smashed up front, but not doing too bad at all. Both vehicles now rubbing into one another. Tails against the front bumpers. Number 71. Starting to coast down the side of the roadway. Looking like a strong performer. Actually, number three. I don't know what happened to number three. Number three may have spilled down the side of the mountain. The, the grip on the tires of number 71 over here. Not performing as well as they probably should be. Number 71, though. Still trying his best to come in first. That is the plan. Number three had taken the paved roadway. So the question is... Who can get there first? Will it be the dirt style or the paved road style? It appears like number 71, despite consistently spinning out, should be the one to make it all the way to the bottom of the track. I was totally wrong. Number 71 caught on the side of a berm. Number three overtakes him. Number three overtakes 71. No way. I can't believe this. That means 
that unless something miraculous happens, you can see number 71 desperately trying to get up the side of the burn, but just can't handle it. Number three, with all that damage and all that destruction, should be our first place contestant over here in the rally. Overheating, broken, beaten, having trouble shifting with all the issues this car has, it still manages to be our first place in the rally. Can you believe it? And he crosses the cows, which means that it makes him the winner. All of the other vehicles, broken, destructicated, smoke billowing out. Oh, no wonder. Look at it. Axel is completely shot over here on 71. No wonder he couldn't get anywhere. These two vehicles intertwined most maliciously. I decided we needed a wild card. So here it is. This behemoth of what is considered, air quotes, a rally vehicle. How well can it actually keep up with typical rally vehicles? Let's find out. Bring it on, boys. Number eight, starting ahead. Uh, definitely not having the speed of its counterparts. Actually, maybe we'll have to put a couple of these up here. Wow. <laughs> what it's fantastic at doing, though, is stopping everyone else dead in their tracks. Oh, this is horrifying. Look at this. It's like, it's like using them like nunchucks or something. Well, crap. All hail our first place contestants over here. Out of the way, dummies. No time for BS. Number three, flying down the track. Dummies managed to stave off certain death and doom as everyone goes flying down. Whoa! That dummy mobile almost took out his brethren, but luckily he just sort of, ro oh boy. Rolling all the way down, tires going flying off. Where are the rest of the racers? I don't think that any of them are going to make it down the hill. Uh, I think that creature may be a little bit too much for this race. How about a Baja style of vehicle? Could a Baja truck do well against a bunch of rallyers? Let's find out. Looks like he's doing pretty good so far. I'll tell you that. Over here in the cinematic view, Gabriel Raising or Gabriel, one of, one of the other. I don't know. It's probably pronounced in some way that I don't know about. Out in front doing quite well. Other vehicles flipping on their sides looking sad about it as well. Let us go ahead and get inside of the first person view so we can watch the insanity as we ramp over the freaking <laughs> ramp over the dummy mobile. The dummy mobile cartwheeling on itself. The occupants probably crushed in ways that they should have never been crushed in. Is there anyone behind us? Blue vehicle. There comes number three. Number three flying out. All the dummies appear to be okay. No bodies flying through the air right now. The Baja vehicle still in front. Very impressed with the Baja vehicle's handling. Doing quite well. You can see over here a nice GPS navigation system as well. Blue vehicle in the back. Is that number 71, I wonder? I can't really see it from here. It's actually a little bit difficult. Oh, hold on. Number three, trying too hard and lost it. There he goes. Down the hill. Looking sad. The question is... Will this affect number three or will this help them? It's just a matter of how well they can recover from that. Trying to get back on the roadway. Look at them climbing up the side of the hill. Totally recovered. Despite all the damage, they are flying in this rally race. Number 54 doing well, but the Baja truck is gone. Absolutely and completely dominating all of the other vehicles. You can see it just barely down there. It is a tiny speck on the screen. Flipping and flying about, doing very well with the handling. Number 54 over here, trying as best he can. You can hear the chassis striking the ground over and over and over again. Number 54, back on the dirt, catching that air as he goes completely off road and off the track and now sliding, sadly through all of the grass, straight into a tree. And it is a brutal backbreaker. 54 is completely out of commission. And that means that all that's left is this number 54, minus a tire, but no big deal, takes the win and makes me wonder if these Baja vehicles are just substantially better than the rally for this type of course. All right, two Baja trucks, Several of the vehicles replaced with faster versions of themselves. 
How will these do now? Now there's a few slower guys in here as well. Well, that was interesting right off the bat. Look at this ridiculousness. Everyone is trying to bulldoze each other off the road. The Baja Racer, the Baja completely pulls away. And we do have some other vehicles behind it, but tires are already flying randomly. Over here, getting that nose underneath the Baja. The Baja is shot because of it, and a crash already, a big pile up right in the middle of the track. But everyone still appears to be okay? Over here, the question remains. Can the Hirochi clear it? Let's find out. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yes. Totally clears it. 10 points for the Hirochi. 10 points for the Hirochi. I don't know if this guy, nope. I was gonna say, I don't know how lucky he's gonna be from here on out. The answer is not too lucky and the Baja truck rolls on itself multiple times before getting slammed by the secondary Baja truck. Now, everyone, ooh. Like the dummies hadn't had enough. Over here, the exchange is real as everyone fights for possession. The Baja truck speeding out ahead. Number three, despite being an older style of vehicle, still showing that it can hold its own. But now, the Baja truck pulling an appreciable lead, quite, quite frankly. It, it appears as if though they're going to stay in the lead for the most part. Over here, we do have some competitors trying to, uh, trying to close the distance. But the bumper over there is posing a real problem to try and gain any distance. And you can see the fish tailing back and forth all over the place. Catching a little bit of air, wobbles on the chassis here and there as they try desperately to catch up to the 54 truck. And I don't think it's gonna happen. I was wrong, it's totally gonna happen. Look at that, right past there. And the problem with the vehicle now ripped completely off the body, but now in a spin, yes the spinning and it will be overtaken by the freaking Baja truck. Look at that. Right over there. No, the Baja truck goes into a spin. The rolling is real. Everyone seems to be just really enjoying rolling end over end. Hiroshi desperately trying to catch back up to the two individuals in the lead right now. The one Baja truck door open because that's a great way to catch some air, literally some air for the driver and now the Orochi is on its back like a tortoise. Number 53 moving hard. And so in the end, look at this. Look at this competitor coming in first and there's a clear win for something besides the Baja truck. Although the Baja truck is coming in second. So how did everyone end up? Well, our two dummies over here are... Actually, this is probably the best thing that they've seen since they started this episode. The secondary Baja truck on its roof smashed in smoke coming everywhere from it. There's our there's our second place winner. This... Now, he had it. He This guy right over here had it in the bag until he ended up flipping and skidding on the hood and roof. Over here... Are they, are they missing both front tires? Both front tires ripped off. And number three is actually not out of not out of commission. In fact, number three is going to be number three. Despite all the damage to the vehicle, they will power their way to the finish line. We're doing it. The destroyer's in. I legitimately don't know what the destroyer of anything will be able to do. Wow, the destroyer is actually doing fairly well because everyone's trying desperately to kill each other. There we go. The destroyer is taking some fools out big time. How well can the destroyer go off road? Probably not very well. Um, I'm going to expect to see this thing flip at some point. The Baja truck, okay. Or it can get caught on a rock and, ev oh, look. They basically freed him, sort of. The question is whether or not the, uh, look at that tire. Tire just bouncing off over there. Come on, man. What are you doing? Destroyer, your your tires face the wrong way. One more time, Destroyer, don't let me down. Yes, plow everyone out of the way. Plow the fools out of the way. Wow, the fools are uh, plentiful because they're all trying to take out the Destroyer. Oh, the Destroyer gets thrown off the course. And although there was a sacrificial lamb to make it happen, 
He is, in fact, out of the race. Haven't seen this guy at first yet. This should be interesting. Flying over the dummies. Whoa. Unbelievable. First car fully clears the dummies. Second, second car fully clears the dummies. That leaves the Baja Mobile. There is no way the Baja Mobile is going to be clearing the dummies. Oh, actually, it may go past the dummies from the side, if you notice. Yes, the dummies are fine. They're totally fine. This gentleman over here, number 14, driving fantastically. Look at the speed. Look at the agility. This is the very first time that we've seen this level of performance from number 14. Behind him, no one holds a candle. No one can keep up with the speed and agility of number 14 until they fly over into the side of the hill. But then they're back in it. They're losing their rally lights, but whatever, they didn't need those anyway. Come on, number 14. Go, go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, things are looking bad. Something, something wrong with the tire. Look over here. The tire is derped. And just because why not, number 14 ends up doing a full flip, spilling out to his doom. Meanwhile, a secondary vehicle far in the distance, trying to gather up the ability to close the gap. But realistically, I don't think at this point, uh, short of the Hirochi doing tons and tons of flips, which is totally possible as it happens quite a bit, I can't foresee anyone overtaking him. And this Hirochi is indeed our first place contender doing the full skid out for everyone's approval as they cross the finish line. All right, we're doing it. This is probably the equivalent of crossing the streams in Ghostbusters. I have a feeling we're going to open like a portal to another dimension. This should never be done. We have all ludicrous speed. All ludicrous speed is going to be participating. What is going to happen? Here we go. All right, ludicrous speed in the lead. <laughs> Followed by ludicrous speed. Ludicrous speed overtaking ludicrous speed. Ludicrous speed now in a death roll. Oh boy. And the death roll is real. Ludicrous speed flying all over the place. Ludicrous speed number one out of commission. Over here, various other ludicrous speeds tripping over each other's parts. Oh my god. Oh, it is horrifying. What sort of air? Hold on, let's watch it. What sort of air will be caught here? Yes! Oh! Scalped. Those dummies just got scalped. And ludicrous speed is tumbling in a way that should never be completed by a motor vehicle. I don't think that they're going to be coming back from that. Down here, the red dummy mobile probably completely destructicated by ludicrous speed number three. I think, I don't even know anymore. Pieces, body parts, metal, plastic flying all over the place. Two more ludicrous speeds tumbling down the hillside. Oh, this was, this is absolutely dreadful. This is the worst. Look at the, look at the distance. Look at the height. It's hor or is anyone left? There's a tire. I don't even know whose that is. There's so many different vehicles that have gone flying into the nether realm at this point. Right here. This is like one of the few ludicrous speeds that are still in commission. Are you going to hit the dummies? Are you going to? Why as well, right? You've hit everything else. Go ahead. Take them out. Whoa. <laughs> really? Oh, look at this. Just barely kissed both dummies. And now the dummy is being dragged by Ludicrous Speed, who is missing a rear wheel. Okay, this was, we gotta do this again real quick. This was absolutely horrifying. Let's do it again. Ludicrous Speed, go! Going plaid, boys, there we go. The, the pack has already been separated. Let us follow the lead car, which is certainly not going to be the lead car for very long. Oh, destructicated. Now over here in front, Secondary ludicrous speed car just kind of sliding on the roof. It's actually not that bad. It may even recover. Never mind. He's not going to recover. Now we have our first pace. Ludicrous speed. Will he clear it? Yes. Full clearance. Let's watch though and see if everyone else does. Another full clearance. Excellent job, ludicrous speed number two. That's it. That's all the ludicrous speeds. Everyone else is flipped. Only two ludicrous speeds remain. All the rest have just been doing flips and stuff like that and both ludicrous speeds managed to hit dummies 
What is this? What? I mean, like, the empire over here is just absolutely deadly. Look at this. That dummy is destructicated. This ludicrous speed flipping end over end half a dozen times, but somehow still in the... Oh, my God. Look at that down there. It is... It's grotesque. It's incredible. I have no idea how these vehicles seem to maintain. There's our boy spinning out of control. Missing, well, not really missing a limb, just having one limb. What is going on here? This, he shouldn't be spinning anymore. Now he's kind of possessed by the devil. And finally, all of the ludicrous speeds have come to rest. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Beam NG Drive, where we did a whole bunch of rallying that turned into a whole bunch of death racing. Meanwhile, the various ludicrous speeds jockey for position and in indiscriminately end up flipping, twisting, and otherwise getting put completely out of commission. Until the next time, folks. Stay foxy and much love. <laughs>